All right, you're getting 5 a.m. Colton today, and I don't know how I feel about that, but we're uh, we're gonna make a video anyways, and hopefully you enjoy it. Good morning. Oh, and in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. <laughs> and it's about Shizzy again, and this is not going to be a follow-up on the last video I made. Rather, just a greater look at, is this character going to be natural or not? He just competed in a show and destroyed the competition and posted some interesting drug-free results that I wanted to talk about briefly with you guys and hopefully educate a bit more on what these drug-free results can really mean when people say it online and use it as their justification for saying that they're natural athletes competing in an natural sport. Shizzy, born Sean, if you don't know, and I think it's really important to provide context here, was born in January 1996. In New York, a prominent individual even joined the military after his high school career. Now, I'll be honest, it's the Coast Guard, so you can barely call it the military from what I've gotten online. He hasn't really published much about it, but hey, he joined some kind of military branch, which is dope. He's recognized for his substantial presence on TikTok and other social media platforms. Having an amazing physique, claiming natural is one of the those things and also really embracing sort of a stoic way of life, similar to many fitness influencers who have gained infamy within 2024. An impressive six foot three inch tall man at somewhere around 104 to 110 kilograms, which is actually radical to think about for a natural individual, he has ultimately become renowned for his physique and amazing potential with a natural bodybuilding. Of course, before embarking on his fitness journey, he faced several challenges with substance abuse with a lot of gay for pay to be honest and he wanted to seek a transformative path and shizzy's commitment to natural bodybuilding seems to be a cornerstone of his personality he brings it up often and definitely defends his position when questioned about it shizzy's been stabbed he's made that a piece of his content and character as well as i think most people generally can recognize the whole like throat slitting thing before doing a set that has been adopted by every 16 year old and their best friend so uh he's he's pretty well known some of you commented on my last video about that you don't even know who he is fair enough and probably better off for it i'm not saying he's a horrible person but he's definitely a weirdo to be uh, to be completely honest but just as of recently shizzy has won a natural competition the npc natural northern usa and you might be thinking npc natural physique committee is a non-tested organization and you would be right except they do host natural shows every so often sometimes they'll even have natural shows back to back with non-natural shows which have had clients compete in so there'll be like a natural whatever beforehand and then the night show is like the npc or non-natural dudes that everyone actually shows up for now you can be the judge of this uh without me injecting my opinion and look at his physique for a natural guy who is in his 20s this seems a bit interesting i won't lie he's definitely well jack to the gills there's no doubt about it he has small leg syndrome which most natural bodybuilders do have and i talked about in my last video with jeff nippard when i was discussing his natural status but regardless of that fact he's still in a really impressive situation no doubt i will say the other competitors here also do look a little bit fishy if i, I have to be honest especially this guy on 107 just a, a bit of a weird physique in my book just because of well his structure muscularity especially in the legs the quad development is insane arm development is insane a little fishy and this big ass fucking trophy holy shit i've never been to an npc show where someone's gotten a trophy as large as this one that is crazy but needless to say it's an interesting depiction of his character he won another show definitely looking fucking insane and i don't know if you remember the last show he competed in which was sean ray's show but he was not the winner and then days later they decided that psych he's actually the winner and then took the <laughs> the first place i mean it's crazy they took first place for the guy who actually won it and then gave it to shizzy because why likely his influential character and sean ray hadn't known who shizzy was prior to the show and then once he found out he was like oh shit we got to make this guy the winner what are we doing emotional material i don't know but you can see the comments here are, <laughs> are pretty clear as to the suspicions that are shared about this guy first comment that is the very relevant one natty question mark bro you posted a drug test that's not even a steroid test uh, the guy on the, the right blew you out of the water in mass and being lean, which I have to agree with. In all aspects, the only thing that Shizzy has over the guy at the 107 position is 
qualms, to be completely honest. Greg Deset commenting, Shizzy got shredded before GTA 6. Diced to the socks. That's Derek Moore plates, more dates. A lot of people think that this is shredded, which I will admit, it is lean. I don't want to be rude here, but it is not that lean, right? Like, if you really think about what it takes to get to this position, it's actually not that much. And I'll talk about that in a second here, just so that you can understand what I'm saying when I talk about this, and it's not just some disrespectful thing like Greg Doucette thought it was when he made a video about me. But anyways, let's talk about the more controversial thing, which is the drug test that he posted at the very last slide, claiming that this was a natural show and he is a natural athlete. Now let's just do a little bit of a CIA investigative work. I'm going to take a screenshot of the paper he has here with his muddy handprints all over it from the tan. And if we just do a little bit of investigative work, we can see that the drugs tested for is... <laughs> alcohol or ethanol amphetamines benzos cocaine fentanyl fentanyl's premium whatever that is gabapentin ghb ketamine opioids oxys synthetic cannabinoids thc tramadol antidepressants which is interesting and zolpam and, and look that's a drug test you know it's a real drug test but do you see a single steroid on this drug test do you see a, a single compound <laughs> Which be literally making sure that he has any form of steroidal hormonal influencing compound in his drug test. Any kind of performance enhancing instead of performance degrading compound in this blood test. Well, I would argue that no, there is no actual substantial information in that drug test to promote the fact that he is natural. But if that's what natural shows are using as their criteria to assume a person is natural, you can soon see why a lot of athletes who do commit to that natural lifestyle and claim to their socks that they are natural with tests like that could be a little skeptical because well quite frankly there's no performance enhancing drugs that are representative on this drug test and if you were to see someone who got an actual drug test for example wada just released their new drug list now if you don't know wada is the world anti-doping agency and it basically publishes a list every year for new drugs or compounds that are going to be on the prohibited list this year they basically added a couple things which is shocking i don't think a lot of people actually understand the lack of drugs that are on their list but they added some bait to agonists to include formetorol, form oterol. Never use that. It's an inhaler. They added a new hormone metabolic regulator, which is S4, SARM, and some anti-estrogens that aren't on the current list. They also added S519 and S597. They also added MOTC. They added a few diuretics. Uh, Exipmad, which is one of those. I believe that's how you pronounce it. They added X. They added Midor, Ma, Mid. Odrine, Midodrine, and Tessafensine, which is a appetite inhibitor and stimulant, I guess you could say. Uh, but that's about it. But anyways, if you actually look at the full list, you can see that it's pretty extensive. I'm not going to go through each and every single list, but they break it down into categories of what is banned and what is not. From, like I talked about, beta-2 agonists, which is like an adrenergic product that can speed up metabolism as well as do many other things in the form of endurance improvement. Anabolic agents, which we usually consider hormonal agents, peptides and growth factors, hormones and metabolic modulators, diuretics and masking agents, which will basically hide the fact that you've taken drugs within your urine, stimulants, narcotics, uh, cannabinoids, glucocorticoids, all sorts of shit is on this list. But if we just go to anabolic agents, this is a test that we would preferably like to see on any natural bodybuilding show to prove someone's natural status. And even this isn't perfect. As you can see at the very top, it should be tested in and out of competition, but natural bodybuilding doesn't do that. They only do it prior to the competition the day before usually and this list is highly extensive and you can see many of the things that we use as bodybuilders like boldenone and cholesterol and things like this and you can also see you know various other compounds that are highly experimental and even some over-the-counter supplements like 7 keto dhea or dhea itself but these are the kind of things that you would want to be testing someone for something as simple as testosterone stenazolol trenbolone trestolone which is very easily accessible through most research chem websites these days Nangelone, methyl testosterone. I mean, these compounds are ubiquitous within the performance enhancing communities, and yet in this natural show, which he won, there was zero testing for any of them. There is no testing for testosterone stimulating peptides like human chorionic gonadotropin or luteinizing hormone modulation. There was no kiss peptin tests. There was no growth hormone tests, which is extremely important. There's growth hormone analogs as well as growth hormone fragments like HGH 176191, which improves rate 
rates of lipolysis, but there's also other ones like you've probably heard of it as we've discussed it in many videos, MK677, which is a growth hormone secretagogue or ghrelin mimetic that is also widely used and easily accessible through peptide websites, which should have been tested for, as well as a surplus of beta-2 agonists. You have a ton, and to be honest, this list isn't even inclusive. There's way more than this. There's beta-1 agonists and there's beta-3 agonists, all of which do a similar effect in the body in terms of improving metabolic rates, but you don't even have a test for salbutamol, albutamol, clenbuterol, and all of these are highly effective at increasing fat loss potential. They improve rates of fat loss, and in a natural bodybuilding show, this would be exponentially important for anybody who would be interested in well, getting in shape much quicker. But unfortunately, none of that was provided here. None of this was even represented on the, the blood test or arguably often not on any blood test in natural bodybuilding. I can speak from my own experience. I did a blood test or not a blood test, a urine test when I won my PNBA pro card and I was natural at the time, but the test didn't include much of anything at all, to be honest. It really just asked me uh, a couple questions beforehand of if I had used any pharmaceuticals and the test itself, the urine test was for your typical stuff. Stuff. Is there any THC in this man's uh, urine? Is there any uh, excessive testosterone metabolites in your urine, which also is a very poor way to actually test for metabolites of drug use because it's ineffective. You're likely to find more if you actually just pick a hair follicle off someone's head and test that for any uh, transcriptive factors. But there's nothing that is going to actually flag someone for being quote unquote not natural on a drug test these days, arguably because it's both too expensive and just not accessible around the world. And so does this prove that Shizzy's natural? Well, it might prove that he's not taking drugs like Fent and a lot of THC, which I guess that's good. You don't want to be doing that. And the Fenty crisis is a big one for sure. So kudos to bodybuilding without Fent. But at the end of the day, it's not really proving much of anything in terms of Shizzy's effectiveness as a bodybuilder or a natural bodybuilder. And I don't think it necessarily claims to to, uh, any sort of accolade in the sense that he's been lifelong natural. It's just sort of a piece of paper with muddy tan all over it. But if you guys really want to help out this channel and support me as a creator, I would love if you'd subscribe down below. It does me a massive favor. We're almost approaching 12k subscribers, which sounds so small, but it's actually a massive achievement for me. Uh, and I appreciate you guys for all being here, for subscribing, and for coming back to watch this content day in and day out. Whether you like it or don't, a lot of you do support me, and that means the world to me. I appreciate every single one of you and would love love to help you if I could. And please leave a comment because I genuinely like to read them and discuss things down below. Catch you in the next one.